14 games and counting. Loyola University came to Redbird Arena Friday night looking to spoil the current win streak the ISU has accumulated, but the Redbirds had different thoughts. After jumping out to an 8-2 lead in the first game, ISU was able to take the first set 25-22. In the second set, Loyola gave ISU some difficulty, but freshman Jalen King talks about how they overcame this. Yeah, there was some points in the game when we were like, okay, we got to get this, and we did really good of just letting it go and then moving on to the next point, and you just have to do that to be able to win a game and get over making a mistake or whatever. Loyola continued to push ISU as far as they could go, but a timeout by Coach Melissa Myers helped the Redbirds finish off the Ramblers of Loyola. I told them at the timeout as, as we were going to the floor, I said, we're going to have to earn this. Expect to have to earn this and start putting the ball on the floor. And we did. And that's how we, you know, we ended up, you know, getting most of those points towards the end, either through uh, blocks or, or kills. And that's how you want to win. After sweeping Loyola in three sets, senior Emily Oreck talks about playing on this team at this time of the season. It's extremely fun. I can't think of a better way to go out as a senior. But I mean, like Melissa said, we don't really look at the whole 13 and 0 thing. I mean, it's really good to get recognition, you know, from in representing ISU as a school to be able to do this. After shutting out Loyola tonight, ISU continues to serve up wins as they have their 15th win in a row. For TV10 Sports Zone, I'm Mitch Schaefer.